What's going on, trainers? Jaybird here. In today's episode, me and Charmander are going to be reacting to my little brother's brand new YouTube channel. Uh, we've talked about it for the last couple weeks since I started my channel, and it appears that he has wanted to jump into the deep end with me and start his own channel. And from what I understand is both of our channels are going to be similar in the vein of we'll be doing card openings, uh, gameplay videos, just whenever we get a chance uh, between work and our daily lives. We'll upload gameplay videos and the main difference is going to be I'm going to focus more on woodworking. He's going to focus a little bit more on cooking aspects. Uh, we talked about you know him making videos where he cooks you know items from the show or the games, stuff like that. So uh, if you don't mind, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'm not going to ask every single video like all these other content creators. Uh, so it'll be very far and few in between where I ask, but subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my little brother's channel. It's going to be Chef Gizmo, uh, Chef underscore Gizmo should be probably, Editor Jaybird should probably have it on the screen here. Uh, but with all that being said, let's hop into it. So his first across episode. Across ETB, among some other ones. Now I've seen this one around and decided on getting it to see if I could get any of the Galarian legendary birds or even the awesome Machamp V alt art that everyone wants. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what we can pull. So about this, he had sent me a picture saying that he picked this up from Walmart and I just told him if he wanted to make a quick video and send it my way, I'd do this reaction. Uh, but since then he's started his own channel and I've just been busy between work and Thanksgiving. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of messing with so it looks like he's you always get made his own debuff. video. But done a voiceover on his video. Something about this Dark Cry one just makes everything look ten times more awesome than some of the others I've gotten. Like the coloring and the, just the plain picture on the card sleeves. I don't know, it just does something for it. So he says it's uh, insane card pools. Now, Let's this is see what he gets. Pack, so of course it has the Hisuian versions of a lot of things, but I just started with the Hisuian Typhlosion, hoping it can bring a little bit of good luck. So let's see what this first one has. Say hello. <laughs> now also, I am barely still kind of new to doing these pack openings. And so I'm not quite familiar with all the card tricks that are involved with the different packs. I know some of them are three from the back, some of them are four. But I decided to go ahead and just kind of shoot through this one before I started doing those. I found a website that says what, what there. card yeah, sets Barboch. have the, the uh, first hollow Zell and the Hisuian Arcanine. The card now, trick, so I might have to send it to him just so we're both a little bit more in the know. Green just because I always chose the water starter, so I was really look at the recently that. married boy wearing his wedding ring. And yes, like I said, I am still kind of new to it, so sometimes I do have issues opening up packs, but eventually Same I easy. still get there. Yeah, as of now, he's been married for a whole month. Where has the time flown? Little, my little mijito's growing up. Music selection. So we got a Bisharp there. Following another Azel, which is kind of funny to me. A Krikatot, a Psyduck, a Petalil, a Stanler, a Bergmite. Anything there? Heracross, ah. <laughs> uh, and just a normal Ursula. We end up, we, uh, our whole lives Let's we've kind of had the same mannerism, so <laughs> it might sound like we're echoing, but it's just, uh, we end up having the same mannerisms, you usually kind of say the same things or think the same things. So. Some of these reactions might be a little redundant if we do any more reaction videos, because we'll end up probably saying the same thing. Roxanne right there. Or at least having the same reactions to pull in certain cards. So I had to move some trash out the way. Cumbi. Chatot. Another side duck there. Got Drifloon, Sidowoodo, and Hisuian Overquill. I do like that they give uh Hey, hey there we go. Space, uh, final evolution. We finally he pulls a Dark Ride V Star and he's like, yeah, next one. Next pack.
be a little more hyped for that dark cry, but whatever. <laughs> So to start this pack off up, we got another Roxanne, Roxanne. another Korea, followed by another Grant. I don't know the rest of that song. Borg, That's all I know. Glamio, it's usually what I walk around saying. Roxanne. Ponyta, and the reverse hollow Arcanine. He got himself a couple Arcanines. And finally, you should finish that one off with Glaceon. So I'm pretty sure, just from the looks of this video, you know, he's just doing the voiceover because originally he was just kind of sending it to me, but now that he started his channel, he's done doing a voiceover. So I think after the first couple of videos, he'll uh, kind of do similar to mine, where he'll have this cam and then that cam, because originally he wasn't intending to, you know, even make the video. I just told him to send it. If you wanted to, got three so. packs left, so I'm really hoping that. And I have watched his other video. We'll watch three. here so in a second. I did see. happen to check that because I woke up. Uh, I woke up for work and I saw the notification, the YouTube notification. So I clicked on it, and I, I, did, I thought I was just super tired, waking up early in the morning. And I'm like, well, where's this video? At? Where's the video at? I messaged him a couple hours later. Said he was having some issues, so but he got it re-uploaded. So I checked that out. But, We'll, we'll still react to it, act like I never watched it. Actually, I technically didn't watch it. I had my earpiece in at work and I was listening to it. So technically, I haven't watched it. Get off on a technicality there. As well as reverse hollow magnezone, and just a plain old Reggie Lucky. I mean, it's still a cool card, but it would have been better as like a holographic or something. Yeah, it seems to seems to be a bit of a dry ETB. You know, that's been my issue with some of these, especially 151. I had the Brother Battle ETB, and the only card we pulled out of all four was a full art, was the uh, oh, alternate yeah, art yeah, Nidoki. Uh, that was the only card duck, we pulled out of three, glasses, four ETBs. <laughs> a Kasuyan Sneasel, a Mysterivus, a Barboach, a Ponyard. A little Eevee just laying down there. You got a reverse hollow shield on. And <laughs> hey, oh, there you go. The origin form Palkia V. What's funny about this card is for an early Christmas gift, my brother had got me a bunch of like single packs, and it actually was the Japanese version of yeah, you get the two, origin form. Yeah, you get two Palkia languages. V. So I really do enjoy that card. Palkia was always my favorite uh, legendary besides Giratina in Gen 4. So I was really happy to kind of get that one. Well, I was about to tell the story, but he already kind of did. That video will be coming out here in a couple weeks. I got to just find time to sit down and edit. I got 11, I think 11 videos I got to edit and post. <laughs> I've just been, every day off has just been working on the woodworking you kind of see behind me here. I'm trying to get that ready in time for the trade night. Been filming trade night and doing all that, so... Yeah, now that that's done, quill, I can finally get to editing all these. <laughs> the Hisuian Growlithe. Plus the now, uh, part of my Christmas uh, presents already got come got in, so that's another video I got to tack on to the count. Jetic. Ah. And oh, just a plain Leafeon. Ends it on well, that. But that's kind of sad. But at least we did get got some pretty cool cards out of it, as well as even though they're not the. Uh, I don't really think there's a lot of like chase cards in Astral Radiance, but. Had some, uh, still had some cool pulls out of it. What's going on, everybody? Right, so Welcome this back. next video, by apparently he went and this year lightning power box that comes with three packs and a foil card, just to see if it's actually worth the price point for it. So whenever I originally picked it up, it was about fifteen dollars, and like I said, it comes with three packs and a foil card, but it's all randomized pack yeah. so you never know what you're going big to get big zoom but let's see big zoom is answered today kenan's head's too big all right so here we are opening up oh, the lightning God. power box i wanted to see I what messed kind up of the zoom. Inside and see if there's anything good in there 
zoom so out. First off, we're there out we go. See an actual oh attack, man, that was a but you can also big zoom. See the card peeking out from a little bit back there, but oh well. The next pack that we have is a Lost Origins pack as well as a Fusion Strikes pack. And then right there we have an Eveltal 25th Anniversary Edition Holographic. It's kind of cool looking, but the downside is the card's a little bent, but oh well. So let's open up this Fusion Strikes pack and let's see if we have anything good in there. Now with this, when I was talking with him, he said that he was trying to shoot it for TikTok, so I'm not so sure. I kind of don't do the card trick with this one, just because I the wasn't filming too sure of it? on how it was. But, but we if not, he might have done the same thing, Mokita, just kind of recorded it just in case. Holo, and there it is, a holographic Frowligator. And then just done the voiceover. I love like I've said before. The Frowligator and Totodile family is my absolute favorite, right next to Squirtle. Poor Charmander, cover your ears with your stubby little arms. Cover your ears. You even have ears. <laughs> if you have ears, I don't see them. <laughs> so to start off, we have a Heavy Ball, a Perugly, a Feather Ball. We also have a Palil, a Pergamite, a Hippopotas, a Cyndaquil. It's got a Cyndaquil to go with all those Quilapas from the first <laughs> from the first video. Now onto this final pack. I don't know. The chances aren't looking too good, but at least I did pull a Fraligator out of there, so I'm at least happy on that. Yeah, these uh, the lightning boxes from Walmart are a little make me a little weary because when I visited for his wedding. Um, I checked out the Walmart the there, and card. they had a bunch of the uh, power cold. boxes with the three packs and the five packs, and it, someone definitely went through and opened up the bottom, and you can see into it and see they're all modern packs more so. You got a Magnezone V out of it. They end up having a lot of the more modern packs, like Fusion Strike and kind of like that. It's got pictures for the you know original base sets and stuff like that, but I just don't believe they'd actually put one in there, give it in, a, put it in a Walmart. It's a pretty cool card. It's not one of the greatest ones, but I do like. I see he's taking my uh, card editing, putting it up on the screen there. Use it a little bit differently, so that's fine. <laughs> I will allow it. I may have to mess around with a few more of those lightning boxes just to kind of see if maybe the price point on it does kind of match up later on down the line who knows you may be able to get some great packs out of it and maybe an awesome foil card from it but it's one of those things i kind of need to go into a little bit more but this box i mean it was all right i'm just happy i was able to pull that for alligator out there all right and so that's the first two videos of ray ray or i guess i should start calling him chef gizmo's youtube channel uh, what do you think? Did you have a have a good time watching that? Eh, you'll get over it. He's a little sour because Ray Ray likes a uh, Squirtle more than more than Charmander, but that's okay. He'll get over it. Uh, but ultimately, I think it was a couple good videos to start off with. I know mine's. I know my first couple videos. Uh, I had issues. Hell, I still have issues even just filming this, just trying to get everything the way I like it. But it's definitely one of those we don't have, we don't come from money. We're poor as hell. Uh, just even doing all this is a bit strain, strenuous. So I think for his uh, current little setup, you know, we can only do as I've done, just kind of grow with each video, uh, make them the best that they can be. I know he said he's got like a, some light lighting box thing that he ordered. Uh, so uh, I think for the first couple, you know, just getting your feet wet, trying to get used to being on camera and doing it. I think they're really good, uh, and I can't wait to see what he does with it. A little bit of a proud brother moment, just seeing him, you know, with his own channel, making his own videos. Because uh, like I said, I just did this. I started my own channel just as an escape from reality, uh, to get away from the harshness of the world and everything like that. And I've just been having a lot of fun with it, and I think he's kind of seen that from watching the videos and i'm glad that he's uh jumped into it as well i know we've been talking about uh going to trade nights and stuff uh, i live two hours away he's about to move to tennessee supposedly we'll see you know when and if and when that happens but you know he's already talking to me about going to you know trade nights in tennessee and looking up all kinds of uh you know card stores in the area that he's looking to move to so it definitely seems like he's jumped into it just like I have 
Uh, it, my channel might have been the catalyst for him to want to get back into it because he's streamed before. Uh, he's done the streaming stuff before, uh, but kind of got back, kind of got out of it. But from just talk with him, it kind of sounds like he wants to get back into it. Uh, so if you don't mind, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to his channel, follow our TikToks, do all that stuff. And this is completely different and out of the ordinary for us, but I know I've been trying to engage as much as I can when I went out to trade night had a bunch of people come up and talk to me and just started conversations and got really comfortable with it and so you know reach out to us in the comment sections stuff like that leave comments on the videos ask questions talk to us all the stuff that goes into it uh you know we'll we'll engage uh every comment that we can uh as long there have been a couple weird ones but you know we'll engage with most <laughs> most every comment but i know we me and him have planned uh, you know, dual videos, competition type videos and stuff like that. We just got to get the logistics of everything down. But ultimately, I think it was a great start for his channel and I'm excited to see where he goes from there. Or goes from here. <laughs> I guess it's just not there, but here. I'm just really interested to see where his channel grows from here alongside mine and see where we, where we get to and what happens and, you know, what comes of it. So I'm really happy and proud and a little proud brother moment here. But uh, I can't wait to see more of his stuff. I hope you guys feel the same. But that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, I should have more card openings coming up now that I've got all my woodworking stuff done for the time being. I can focus back on recording card openings and editing and all that good stuff. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Like I said, like, share, subscribe, my stuff, his stuff, TikTok stuff, all the goodness that goes into doing this part of everything. And I hope you join us for our journey. Thanks.